Families and loved ones from Tennessee to overseas are devastated after learning the bodies of their loved ones were not buried the way they wanted. And now the state is investigating and a federal lawsuit has been filed. Call for action problem solver Carice Jackman spoke to one of the attorneys involved in these cases. And Carice, we're talking about several families here. Several families who are devastated and just heartbroken over what's happening. Now several of those families say they paid to have their loved ones bodies shipped back to their home countries and they tell attorneys it just never happened. At a cemetery off Ashland City Highway, you'll find Julio Alonzo's final resting place. He died in 2019, and the sad thing about this is he was killed up in Kentucky. The problem is he's not supposed to be buried here. Attorney John Moore says Alonzo was supposed to be cremated. His family expecting his remains to be sent home over 2,300 miles to Guatemala. A final goodbye that never happened. It's tragic. I mean, it's it's very tragic. And all I can say is, is that, you know, it's, it's irresponsible to handle remains like this. Morris and his legal team spent months investigating, trying to track down Alonzo's grave, only to discover him lying in a pauper's grave next to Jane Doe's and other unknown grave sites. Sadly, Alonzo's not the only case Morris is looking into, like Freddie Hernandez. According to this federal lawsuit, Hernandez, who also died in 2019, was supposed to have his body sent back to his family in a rural part of Guatemala. According to this suit, a friend of the family paid Reed Van Ness, a former licensed embalmer, $4,000 in cash to handle and transport Hernandez's remains to his father. But the suit claims months went by. Hernandez's body never sent home. And no matter how many times family and friends said they called Van Ness, the suit claims they couldn't get an answer. According to legal documents, Van Ness operated out of both Nelson and Sons and Sadler Funeral Home here in the Mid-State. As we began to research this and the Board of Funeral Directors got involved and investigated this, the initial investigation uh, turned up 15 bodies between two funeral homes that were um, sadly stored like, you know, like lumber in a back room. Can you explain what happened to their bodies? After multiple requests for an on-camera interview, Van Ness agreed to speak with us over the phone. I know that he was supposed to be cremated and sent back to Guatemala. Uh, that is correct. The permission was given to cremate, and then uh, they also had all the documentation to ship whatever way they, the funeral home wanted to do, and uh, the funeral home refused to tell me what, what they did. We also asked about Freddie Hernandez. Why did it take so long for his body to get sent back to Guatemala? Multiple things were happening at that time. Um, one of the biggest ones had to do with with uh, space and uh, shipping. He died during the time of year that spacing is limited. After a long fought battle, Hernandez's body was finally sent home, seven months after his death. As for Alonzo's body, the question still remains whether he'll ever get sent home or remain buried here in Tennessee. I'm happy we finally found Mr. Alonzo's body. At least can give his family, you know, some semblance of, of closure. But, you know, at this point, they'll never get the remains back home uh, short of something extreme like, you know, digging up his body. Now, News 4 contacted both funeral homes. We left a message with Sadler's attorney, and we're waiting to hear back. When we asked Nelson and son's attorney, they wouldn't give us their attorney's number. Now, the Tennessee Department of Commerce and Assurance, who've been investigating this case, released this statement to us. Alex Martin, Assistant Commissioner of Regulatory Boards and the Tennessee Department of Commerce and Assurance, wish to express their sincerest condolences to the families of those affected by this unfortunate situation, though they may be in foreign countries. We are currently investigating three complaints related to this matter. We urge all consumers, whether they are native English speakers or not, who may feel that they have been, may have been treated unfairly by a licensee, or if they know of an unlicensed illegal activity, to immediately file a complaint with our team. Now, the department tells me Van Ness has surrendered his license as a funeral director and embalmer, and letters have been sent to consulates in several countries, including Guatemala, El Salvador, and Mexico. Marius.